here we are, episode 14 of the OBS build. I know it's been a while since I've done any upgrades, anything really to the OBS. I got the second gen on the side of the house. That's about to get a S300 Screaming Eagle. Things I've been wanting to do, kind of put off, um, that I figure we dive into. The mirrors, you can see those things back there. I had previously installed them on the truck in one of my other videos. You guys can go back and see how to get the mirrors on the truck. But this OBS was a non power mirror truck. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to create a video today that shows you how to wire up everything from scratch. So say your truck has no power mirror option, like most OBSs with those old grandpa mirrors, you know. Um, I'm putting on a 99 plus mirror switch. Uh, I have a part number for that, you know, it's like 15 bucks on Amazon. I have the wiring diagram that I'll plug in for you guys. It's really simple. It's two wires, hot and ground. And then you got three to this mirror and three to this mirror. And then of course you have the, the clearance lights, however you want to hook those up. Those are for the, uh, those are the white lights that come on. You could do them with your dome light or you could do them if you put it in reverse. However you want to do that is on you. Uh, I'll show you uh, the wire colors and all it is is power ground, super simple. All LED bulbs are polar. So you gotta make sure the grounds and the positives are correct or else they won't work. So you have the clearance lights, then you have your indicator. Those, you know, uh, it depends on what you got. I hated the stock ones so much. That was a huge thing why I never decided to wire them up. The stock, just amber LEDs, they're garbage. Can't stand them. So Oxido LED, shout out to Oxido Bill. I appreciate it, my man. These, they're worth wiring up. They're worth putting on your truck. They really transform the look of these D-Max mirrors, especially on the OBS. I love them. You know, they got the white running light, and then when you hit the turn signal, it's sequential, do 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 do, -do switchbacks. It, they're my favorite, I don't know. I don't know if you guys like sequential switchback LEDs as much as I do, but you should, because, why not they're they're badass so i got them i'm gonna level the mirrors out I'm gonna level the mirrors that one's pretty much level i might add a real small washer in this one still needs to get done uh, those mirror caps are painted and they're installed pretty pumped on that uh, if you remember maybe i didn't say or so but when i first installed the mirrors very first day i broke the glass on the driver's side sucked i was so upset but I went over to a uh, an unnamed website. I won't say nothing because they don't. I, I don't really care for the company because I just don't care for the company. So I won't even give them any uh, time of day. But I got another mirror, just the glass from them. You know, this these have the LED uh, on there. They are defrost mirrors. I don't run defrost on my truck. I live in the desert. There's no need for it really. So what I actually did to cut down on the switchback wiring is I chopped off one of the two wires needed for defrost, chopped one off, got rid of it, and then used the other one for the marker light. Oh, these are not power folding mirrors. I didn't buy them, I don't need them. You know, my wheels stick out far enough that I think I'm gonna hit a wheel before I hit a mirror. Not really, but <laughs> you guys know what I'm trying to get at. So um, mirror switch, wiring diagram, all the pin out. I figured it all out for you guys. It's really simple and uh, kind of show you a couple quirks as I get into it. And uh... so if we want to dive right in, you guys know how the mirror was done. And then I have everything. The, uh, the red, green, and yellow, those go to the mirror. The white and the gray are the power and ground for the clearance. And then the black with the white stripe right there that one is going to be ground for your lights. The black, solid black, is going to be the marker light. So that's gonna to wire to your parking lights to give you that white side marker. And then this blue light, or blue wire, I'm sorry, is the, uh, this one's gonna be, this is the left, it's gonna be tapped into your left turn signal. So the plan is, I wanna keep all this under the dash. I don't like when people run the wires through and tap in behind the light. 
I got enough going on up there. You can see here's my horn blasters. Um, and then right here, that's for my, my ISPRO gauges. Uh, I did buy some things to do some DT connectors, so I'm gonna get rid of those. But the plan is to tap into your left and right turn signal. I'm going to tap into that here. Power, here is the power window switch. So this does have constant power. I'm gonna to have to find out which wire has constant power. Probably never gonna be rolling my windows up and down and controlling my window switch at the same time. So you don't need, about, need to worry about fusing it or drawing more than what's needed because the power window motor is um, a pretty beefy circuit and the power windows I tested all these on the bench with a nine volt battery. Yes, you can do it with a nine volt battery. So those window motors don't draw too much at all. So the plan is to tap off the power, the left and right, and just running the wires. And that should be about it. Don't mind this, this is um, previous owner stuff. I don't even know if it works, I'll go through it. And I'm gonna be rebuilding my door panels doing sound deadening and all that jazz so you can see my shitty seat my shitty headliner the truck is pretty stock like i said before and yeah let's wire these things up so you can see right here i got all my wiring all laid out everything you need uh, i do have the wiring to keep everything uh, the same color which is very important to me i don't like doing all white or whatever i like to keep all my wiring color coordinated and i even have a label maker I, I just like it that way you know the, the switch this is a 99 to i think 2002 ford power window switch uh, it was like 15 bucks on amazon or something there's that right there Here's a factory one that I got from the junkyard. The terminals in here are all corroded, but the pigtail is what you need. This one, this is super simple. I'll post the pin out right here, but then you can see it's pretty much separated. You have the, and then each mirror is going to share this yellow wire. And then you'll have the green and dark blue, and then you'll have the black and the orange with the green stripe. Granted, those may change a little bit with the years, but the actual pins in the connector will stay the same. I think uh, based on the year, I think one of these or two of these wires, the color changes, but the functions are still the same. So you could take that pin out. And this I'm going to wire in on this panel right here. You could see I had my horn switch right there. I didn't like where the horn sat. It was kind of inconvenient, the air horn. I don't like it, I'm gonna move it, but I'm gonna put this in its spot. So that's gonna go in there. And then I'm gonna actually build the whole wiring harness on the bench so I can use some of this nice braided loom, some heat shrink, do everything on the bench so it's nice, fish it through the doors, make all my connections and be done. I wanna do this nice, do it once, and uh, my main reason for not going into the engine bay, you know, to tap into the other things, is I just wanted to keep it simple, keep everything under the dash. There's no need for it to go anywhere else. It should stay all underneath there. Everything's there that you need. All right, so this really isn't rocket science. I just found a spot that worked and I kind of just set it on there, traced it, and then obviously it's easier to cut more than it is to put some back, because you can't really do that, so. Uh, moved my shit out of the way, drilled a couple holes in the corners. And that'll kind of, that'll kind of get you in the ballpark. like that here's you do 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 should be just fine 
All right, so right here, if you look up here, let's see where the wiring, it's better, you see right here, this loom, it comes out of the multifunction switch right here. That loom, it goes into this little batch of wires. So what you're looking for is the light green with the white stripe and the white with the blue stripe. Those will be your left and right. You can just use a test light and those two wires. I don't like to cut and splice into any wires. So I use these. Um, I really like these. The first time I ever came across this was for a, um, a Quadzilla install. You can see there's just a little spike and you just put this on. All right, so here's the harness. This is what plugs into the switch. This is the ground right here. Those two connectors are for the um, left and right turn signal. This is to tap into my, uh, my dome light or my reverse lights. I haven't decided what I want those clearance lights to do. This one is for the um, parking light. So when I turn my lights on, it'll illuminate the side, the side marker white. And then this will be for the left. Uh, I'm about to pull them through the, um, the door grommet so I taped everything all up. It's nylon loomed and the ends are all heat shrunk. And that one runs all the way across. So there's that. It's I think eight wires on one side and seven wires on the other. And then just a couple that go up into the dash. I've already tested it. So I will uh, give a demonstration and do. Well, check this out. You know, use a wire, fish through the grommets. Most of the time, there isn't this big a hole there or those metal shavings. So I didn't like, I like all my stuff nice and tucked up. I didn't want anything running down. That's already like borderline. I don't like it. Um, this is for my auxiliary wires for some interior stuff. It's gonna get used eventually but I'm talking like this specifically, even though it's loomed and up out of the way, I still don't really care for it. With this panel on, you still wouldn't be able to see it, but I'm definitely not gonna run anything down underneath and try and fish it up to that grommet. There's no freaking way. Likewise, I'm not going behind the dash and then down. So I got a hole saw, made sure there's no wires behind it and just drilled it through. That's uh, much easier. So little tip, you know, some people don't want to cut up their truck, but this is like a 30 year old truck. Who cares? I wired these. Those are clearance markers. They're white. Those are going to be wired to the dome light. So when I flick the dome on, those will come on. And the other one was for the parking lights. That was easy. That's just the brown wire that comes out of the same switch. I'll give you a picture of that right there. And you can see these are the wire, the wire connections that I use. I don't use Scotch locks. These are much better. They don't, they do a little hole. You can see that one. I, that's where I tested. But this one is the dome light and the brown is for the parking light. But those will tuck back in there nicely. No cutting, no splicing, no, nothing crazy. So that'll work just fine for that. So right here, this is all the wires that I pass through the driver's side grommet. The power tap for the mirrors, which is that light blue with a dark blue stripe. So here you can see the harness under the dash on the left and then the mirror harness on the right. All right, so I mostly got everything back together. Figured I'd just do a little test for you guys. There's a the button, switch it over to the left. Left and right, up and down. Change that over. Easy peasy, that's it. Nothing else to it. That's it on the mirror conversion. I got busy, went on vacation, and forgot to film an outro. So there you guys go. Um, I think I covered everything you need. 
if you guys want to buy a harness I could probably make you up one it wouldn't be no issue I could go grab a plug and and make a harness but you got to cut your dash so if you guys want to do that I'll probably sell them for like 150 bucks to where you could literally just tap into it put the mirrors on obviously tap into it where I told you and uh, go about your day no not nothing crazy I think 150 bucks would do it for me you know whether it's worth your time or your money you know that's on you so you guys can see the grill's gone I sold it it's gone uh, Cameron Alexander uh, he bought it on Instagram uh, he made me an offer I couldn't refuse I was gonna raffle it off but I decided to let it go uh, headlights are also sold so that's cool uh, they're gonna go to another to a guy who has a Fummins already so that works great it wasn't all for not doing those uh, projector etches way way back was it two years ago now so uh, I that being said it's taken me two years and there's still not a Cummins in there so I'm gonna formally name this truck Island Time so if you guys have ever been to the islands that's where I just got back from vacation uh, everybody says they're on island time or Hawaiian time that's whenever you know what's your business hours I don't know 10 ish to 3 ish depends on how the surf is depends on if I want to wake up all that stuff so island time you guys know me I'm in not I'm I'm not in a rush to do anything I do it as it comes so kind of just whatever bra it's my truck's name is island time so I think I'm going to uh incorporate that into some of the suspension but um getting a little ahead of myself there the grill i have new headlights on their way that have some leds in there i'm going to do something kind of cool be like kind of obs meets luma duty i'm going to have somebody who's uh pretty well respected in the industry do a cnc cad design for my grill so i can finally start cutting them for y'all I have a couple ideas that I'm going to do. He is going to design them. So when I get the file, all I need to do is click cut and ship them out. And that'll be so much easier because I am not a computer aided design guy. Um, that's why it's been taking me so long. Plus I got 10 different irons in the fire. So I'm trying to just pick one and go with it. So uh, I have a factory grill in the garage. I have some headlights that are coming in. I'm gonna do some sweet Morimoto projector upgrades and I'm gonna do some other fun stuff, make this front end a little bit better. I got a, a new updated LED badge and um, yeah, pretty excited about all that. Not to jump too far off subject, the mirrors, if you guys have any questions, concerns, whatever, if you're wondering, if I didn't cover something, please let me know in the comments and I'll, uh, I'll address it. So I'd like to give another shout out to Oxido for those switchback uh, sequential mirror markers. That worked out great. Yeah, you want a harness, 150 bucks plus shipping on your dime. And uh, I usually make, mine was a little long. I did like two feet from the, the pigtail and then I did uh, six and a half feet from the pigtail. And then I think I cut them down, you know, just probably six inches on each side. So that's it. Uh, thank you to everybody who subscribed if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and uh, follow along the OBS build you know me I'm on island time so whenever the updates get posted is when they get posted uh, I have this I have the second gen you know getting a turbo that's gonna happen soon so that and working and family and all this I'll get to it it'll we'll get to it we'll get there when it's time so um, Thanks guys.